Hey, you guys! It is Drunk Monkey Forty Two here, back again to play some D and D. Actually, to DM for a group of friends and family uh, called the Door Smashers. So, welcome. Uh, today, though, I will be Ryan, the DM, as I will introduce everybody like normal. Cats. Starting on my right hand side and going around the table. Sorry. Again, some of you may be uh, kind of ass or whatnot. We only really got one camera and we are not really using cameras. Uh, we just are doing mics only and flipping to the board. I got the camera on myself just in case anyone's uh, one's asking or wondering. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and get into it and I'll start on this side of the table and go around like I normally do to introduce people. We got Riley, who is playing Mal. Next to her, we got Jason, sorry, Justin, who is playing Thorn. Next to him, we have Zach, who is playing Perquin. Next to him, we have Jason, who is playing Bost. Next to him, we have Sarah, who is playing Bernice. And next to her, we have Ron playing two characters, Bart and Bertram. And of course, I am Ryan, the DM for the group. Uh, now, due to some mic issues and everything, we're uh, having the voice that is currently you're hearing is not going to be lining up with the <laughs> with the mouth or the person that you see in front of you on the video. Um, kind of do a little voiceover for it. So uh, we start off with a recap, getting into this. And again, uh, when we get back to the actual video, it may kind of still be recapping. Um, so bear with me if you end up hearing this twice. Uh, so. The group themselves went from the eighth floor to the ninth floor, uh, leaving behind um, somebody that was pretty much a promise that was kept anyways. Um, they ended up coming to this strange thing. It's like a hand, but it was attached to pretty much a forearm, like a severed forearm hand thing. Uh, it began, it shot out a uh, firebolt. Uh, Bart reacting ran uh, ran up over it, uh, ran up underneath it because it was floating in there, and shot off a couple of Eldritch blasts up at it. Um, it then cut off the rest of the group with its uh, force wall. But before really things got heated, uh, bursting through the door was Hollister, an old man in robes, uh, gray hair, and everything. Um. It, uh, he basically told told it uh, told the hand to knock it off that we have guests, and so the fighting kind of stopped. Now Hollister explained or uh, asked him what they were doing, and also wanting to see if one that wizard that was in the group wanted to come uh, enroll. Basically, um, they explained to him that they were on a hunt for some people that had stolen a gym. He did mention that some people did come through and they paid a toll, which is what he's also telling them as well, that one magical item per person and he will be gladly to lead them to the next floor so they can continue on uh, with their ventures to leave pretty much him, him and his students alone. Now, um, they didn't agree to the one, to, to the magical items or anything like that. Uh, so Hollister came up with another thing, seeing how he came to some information about a demon or a devil uh, that happened to appear in one of the areas of this school, and that if the group would be so kindly to destroy it or get rid of it, he'd be more than gladly to consider that equal and lead him to the next floor. So the group um, agreed to that, but they also added they would like to have a rest. Um, and and they would take care of it in the morning. He agreed that he'd meet up with them in the morning and lead them to where it was. So the group kind of bedded down for the night and rested, but only one of their companions, Thoron, was unable to to get a long night's rest as he was again conflicted with some nightmares. The group, upon in the morning, finding out that he had nightmares and not was able to to sleep to rest. Uh, did a little sidestep and said that maybe we should um, keep Thorin back and not let him engage in, in battles until they can figure out what's going on. 
With the help of Bernice, she was able to relieve some exhaustion from him, but not fully uh, uh, relieve him of what ails him, basically. Um, Hollister did come in and led the group through the halls of the school. Uh, they did see a, like a 12-year-old boy or whatnot um, named Spite. Uh, and they also found some interesting uh, remarks to a former colleague of theirs as well. Uh, Hollister did lead them uh, through a, a jail, and oh, they also did come across a woman or a girl named Skitterina, who was kind of stuck up ish and snobbish, who was also, uh, who led, or who was no, not led, she led uh, a shield golem and a glick or gleek. Um, through the halls now she did bump into them it did cause a little commotion um but not anything that was too bad uh but he uh and then and then he led him through the dungeon where there were some goblins one of them eyeing a certain peter and to a statue of a pretty much a stone dragonborn underneath it said follow the rules don't be this idiot he said, beyond the door, you'll find the bone devil. They went through the door. And they found the dead body of uh, one of the students. Uh, Bertram stuck it, uh, followed the blood, found out it was a uh, illusionary wall, found the bone devil. Bone devil started appearing through the wall and a fight broke out. Now, again, um, this is just a quick little voiceover. I'm trying to fix the audio a little bit, kind of give you guys a little bit of narrative. Uh, we'll be going back to... Um, ryan uh of the actual video so again if i if i cover some of this and you're hearing it again i do apologize but i'm trying my best on on making sure i don't repeat anything uh for the most part though uh there was another section that had an audio issue uh, so i will be catching you guys back on that audio here uh shortly but where we left off the bone devil himself the, his weapon that he holds is uh, coming through the wall. His face as well is beginning to peer through this illusionary wall that is right here. So as I'm flipping it back um, to the map, you guys can position yourselves on the map where you would, would have been beforehand. Bernice, I know you were looking at the tapestry and looking behind it because uh, you were using your wand. Uh, somebody was over by the dead guy, searching and looking at the dead guy, which I think, Mal, that I think you so were kind of doing that. Dude, I want to know what happened. So. <laughs> so it doesn't happen to me. So what happened was, what happened? The dead frog and was I will go right. ahead and flip it over to the map. Oh, come on. There it goes. So. Again, as the creature kind of appears through the wall, uh, words were said by Bertram. Uh, we'll start off with that before we roll initiative real quick as this creature is beginning to peer through the wall. So what? Uh, remind me again, what did Bertram say to the group? I said I found it. Okay. <laughs> yep. Found it! Found him! <laughs> right. And as I step back, you know... Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Like a giant mosquito. <laughs> uh, he does. More of like a alien bird. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I see uh, for the chat, that is what it looks, it looks like right there. That's the bone devil that they see right there. Uh, the only difference is on the image, it's he's holding a, he is holding a weapon. Yes. Uh, You're not be able to hold that. So, yeah. I <laughs> will go ahead and More ask for <laughs> the group to go ahead and roll <laughs> initiative, if you would, please. All my money's on for this. That sounds like a you problem on that one. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Did we both roll mine? Did I seriously get the God rolls damn it. threes? Oh, what you get? I think your deck's higher. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah you go first. Guess what you get. We both rolled nine again. Oh, we rolled six. last last Jax. game we rolled the same exact game. Rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I have a, I have a, some kind of babysitters that strap his eyes. I have a shield. I need it. No, you don't. You have an alert feed. Bertram needs Bertram it. Bertram does not need it. Bertram does not need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the only time me and Mao agree on something. Bertram 20 or higher. So you're saying. Yes, the alert. Who did it? What, what did Bertram get? 30. Jesus. This is why it. he doesn't he need it. He needs it, yeah. Well, right now he does. He's, like, within close range of that. Uh, so you got 30 for BB. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I should start off anybody 25 or higher. Uh, okay, so 15 to 20. No, we all shit. Wow. Why are you looking at I him? found him! <laughs> I found him too! I was... Yes, the body's over here. Everybody's just forgotten okay. what we came here for. 10 to 15? <laughs> Anybody else in the teens? No. Wow, okay. No. All right. Five to 10. I got five. Okay. You got eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, so you're going nine, eight, five. Yep. <laughs> What'd you get? Two. Nine. Four? No, she got four. Well, I haven't even gotten Bart yet either. Hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you both got four. You have four. It's the twins. What do you expect? They're twins. You, you can either do rollies to go. You can do what side, or you can go off uh, the decks. All right. So Peter. Uh, eight oh, for Thoron. Okay. Um, okay, so would you... Bart's first. Peter, Bart's going to go first? Yeah. Thorin, so I'll put you four, and then, four and then her Peter three. Yeah. No, Thorin, Peter, Thorin, and me. <laughs> so we're going Bernice, yeah. and then we're going Bart. That's why I stopped. I was like, Bart last, I, right? I'm no, afraid. Bernice last. Bernice, nah. yes. all right. That, it's easy enough. All I gotta do is add an F. Uh, all, all we can hope is the Bone Demon got a uh, lower roll than us. Well, you yeah, did. I think they're lower roll. I mean, statistically, with those <laughs> rolls, I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not holding my breath on that. It's gross. Okay, we're sure we're gonna do five to nine. Thanks. For sure, plot twist. For sure, the blade takes a lot of one hit. Um, Everybody's just doing other stuff and just yeah we are forgot what we came here for yeah yes well okay so 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 let me let me like let me just throw out this picture first of all she's going through a dead body yeah she is behind pretty much a tapestry going ooh yeah I found a secret passage pretty much uh I don't know what Perkwin Thoron and no, we're just and standing Thor. here talking about yeah, yeah. I don't even know what she, I mean well, well actually I do you two are like. Guarding him. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, no. You guys are guarding no. the king. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Are you wearing, I gotta ask, are, are you currently wearing that crown? No. It's in the bag. Okay. Ish. It might be By the way, you're bag. still under the conditions of your stomach bug that oh, you have. Oh, so do you want to roll? Not yet. Uh, no, no, only at the most inopportune time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's where it always happens. And though. yes, if if you do fail it and you shit yourself, <laughs> it does go back down. The DC. The more you pass, the higher the DC will start rising oh. because you're hold, you're clenching the hold, so the DC will yeah, rise. The shit, which kind of went to sleep. It doesn't matter. The bug could kick in within a matter of time, right? That's a twenty-four hour stuff. You know how that works. Yeah. You could be taking a shit every hour, two hours, <laughs> every 30 minutes, every 10 minutes. I've only ever had food poisoning once, and it was like no, eating. Uh, food, food, food poisoning food. doesn't always necessarily give you the shits. Oh, it went out both ways. Yes. Yes. That's not really food poisoning. That's how I had it. <laughs> um, I had to make a choice, throw up on the floor or shit on the fires. I ate vending machines, a hot dog, or and I am vending machine hot dog. And I forgot to cook it. I was so tired. And I, I was fine. I was still fine the next day. That's, that sounds about right. Yeah, that, that's but this is this is also coming from a guy who downs like energy drinks by the handfuls. Yeah, uh, caffeine, so. nicotine, and pain. Oh, don't forget next Thursday, cold hot dog. Oh yeah, one. 
Yeah. One. Oh. You know that's what's oh. I know this is off topic. Okay. <laughs> it has, we'll nothing, it has nothing to do with the game. Uh, yeah, I don't care. This Super Bowl party, whatever. All right. So, anyways. Okay, we got Nisha roll. Nisha has been rolled. Obviously, we already know Bertram. What the fuck are you going to do to start off? With? <laughs> um, I am going to move forward and poke him with my stick. <laughs> Pokey pokey through the wall, tickle tickle. Well, he's kind of a, he's partially going, kind of through. Uh, it. Got your and hands. I'm going to use a uh, fainting attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, fourteen and seven twenty one. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. Okay, and so that's going to do twenty four points of damage. Okay, um, what weapon are you using? My rapier. Okay. Oh, you said a stick. You said, you said 20... 24. 24 yeah, my points. magical rapier. Okay. Uh, and then my second attack, um... Oh, that's 15. 15 plus, uh, 22. To hit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. And that's gonna be for 8 points of damage. And then okay. I'm going to back up to where I was. Uh, so that's 10 feet of movement. And then uh, I grab Bost and see if he's willing. And I put him in my place. And I'm 100% willing. Hey guys, sorry again. Uh, I got to cut in here because our audio kind of messed up. So I'm going to give a little bit of four and a half minute uh overview of what's happening right now that you're probably seeing on the screen basically uh they rolled initiative they're starting off now uh bertram uh pretty much what is going to swap with boss places after he uh i believe pokes the bone devil with his weapon uh boss of course accepts and allows him to get an extra uh ac buff until the end of uh bertram's turn now that will end bertram's turn he's going to sit right he's just going to stay right there but it is the bone devil's turn now with the bone devil the bone devil ends up attacking Bost with his hook pole arm stabbing him kind of like in the chest or whatnot uh and, and and then uh begins to drag him back into the room where he then attacks him with his uh tail uh doing some pretty de decent damage now, Boss's turn is right after the Bone Devil's turn. Boss goes into a rage and proceeds to try or to rip out the hooked pole arm from the Bone Devil. Now, he's able to do so, but as he tries to get away, turns his back and tries to run away, the Bone Devil gets a reaction and stabs him in the back and hooks him again, keeping him in place with a natural 20. Uh, Boss goes ahead and ends his turn there, which then goes to uh, Perquin who will hold his action until Thoron moves. If Thoron moves from his place, he is going to trip Thoron because he's trying to prevent Thoron from getting involved with whatever's going. He's trying to keep him back. So it moves straight into Thoron's turn, which Thoron does go ahead and move. Uh, at the same time, he's trying to cast a divine, uh, a divine intervention type thing. It doesn't quite work because the, the, the bone devil's in full coverage to begin with because the, uh, the illusionary wall, but he does trip. He does fall flat on his face. He gets up and he moves another 10 feet or so uh, to allow the only, his only part of his movement. Um, and then it goes to Mal. Mal moves forward through the illusionary wall and then uh, shoots off her wand to the back of, uh, far back of the area and blows up the bone devil. So she thought. Unfortunately, fire damage does not hurt the Bone Devil at all, and she definitely figures that out when he gives him a toothy grin. Uh, Mal runs her ass out of there as fast as she can, away. Uh, and then it ends up going to uh, Bart's turn. Uh, Bart goes, uh, moves forward, goes into the other room, and he uses two Eldritch Blasts, which both hit... Uh, so he just kind of shoots two Eldritch Blasts, uh, hits the Bone Devil, 
it does do damage and then uh for his last turn he basically or for his bonus action he ends up casting uh thunderous smite on his weapon uh to pair him uh to pair it up um uh, with his next attack uh, so basically that's about what happened in this area. I did shrink it. It was a about a 26, 30 minute clip right here. Uh, we did have some interactions and some playfulness, uh, that happened. Unfortunately, a lot of that I could not hear, let alone, I can't really recreate that over voice over. So I kind of cut it down to about four and a half minutes. I'm going to clip this of course back in. So sorry guys, please bear with me on that. Um, hopefully hopefully next our next stream it won't be this this messed up on the uh the voice for sure but thank you so much uh i will be coming back into uh the regular video here in a in a few seconds uh i just also want to take this quick time to say if you're not already following please hit that follow button we definitely appreciate that and of course like always this is the door smashers for our DD group I am Ryan, the DM. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And we uh, we will go back in about, uh, yeah, three, uh, two, one, back to Ryan. Okay. No, wait a minute. No, just, I'm not going to cast Thunder Smite. I'm going to use the Valve Enemy. Oop. Vengeance. Okay, what's that Val do? Ah, uh, it gives me advantage on. I'll put it up there. As soon as I find it. Did I go in there? I can never tell. It did. Yeah, Hold on, just a second. No, I. I think we're having a technical difficulty right now with, uh, yeah, hey, hey, could you, something got pulled, something got pulled, it's, it's freaking out here. Yeah. Beacon of hope. There it goes. Now, when you pulled on the uh, USB port, it, wow. it's very touchy. Uh, but yeah. There we go. Sorry, for some reason, you started doing it now, too. So I, that's why I was like, unplug and plug it back in. All right. Anyways, Valid Emmett has a bonus action. Right. Yeah, 10 feet from you. Yeah. Oh, never mind then. Oh, that's right. It has to be 10 feet from me. All right. Then fine. Fine. Yeah. I cast, thun I cast <laughs> Thunder Smite. <laughs> there. Okay, so you choose instead to do Thunder Smite versus that, so you don't want to get in 10 feet to do it. I can't. You're out of movement. I'm a short-ass dwarf. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, so that ends your turn then? Yep. Okay, go ahead, and uh, Bernice, is going to be your turn. <clears throat> Bernice is going to um, take her action and dash to that square. If you Did you see that? One more I time. did not. Would it's... you? You're going to go through there? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's 40 feet. You were currently behind the tapestry. Yeah. And like I told her, for her to get behind it, she would have to use an action to move the tapestry. you got to have to lift it up and over you. All right. So I, I, did, um, I did it with her. I'm trying to be fair with you no, as well. Fine. Um, fine. Because it is an object that is right in front of you, separating you in the room. So I'm just going to move 25 and... I guess fold an action if he comes through. Back. Um, you would have actually just a bonus action left. Use your action oh, to yeah. move the then tapestry. Yeah, use your action <laughs> to lift and move the tapestry over you and to get on the other side of it. And you see Mal standing right there too when you do it. Yeah. Um <laughs> and then you you did hear the explosion. That, that yeah. was loud enough to hear an echo through. Yeah. Uh but you already used it to do that. You That's only have I'm... a bonus action left. Okay, just right there then. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna go with uh Okay. Hot. And then that ends your turn and then we're gonna go topple around with BB. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I lose my AC, Boy. too. At the end of his turn, yes. Yep. 
Do, 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 do. I'm gonna run in. Oops. Okay. And attack him. Characters yeah. thing. Holy shit, that was a lot of movement speed. 30! <laughs> was, was that 30? We were we, right next to Bernice, that's right, because you guys. Yeah. yeah, okay. Wow, alright. <laughs> All of a sudden, bloop, bloop. Um, <laughs> first attack. And I'm gonna move this. Oh. Fire ring. Not 20. Ooh. That like rang through my ear. <laughs> that was awesome. What was uh, that? Nat twenty. Natural twenty. The Kraken. Yeah, that's that's gonna hit. Exercise. So that's twenty plus uh forty yes. points of damage. And you, you already added the yeah, sneak attack. Yep, yeah, all that. That's awesome. Sneak that was 2d6s still? 2d6s. Yeah. And then it was a d8 for attack? Yep. Okay, so yeah, that's 20. And then you rolled a total six, after that. 6, 6, and 4. 16 plus 4, 20. Okay. Plus your modifier, yeah. which gets you up to 40, do you say total? Yep. Okay. All right, sorry, that happened so quickly. I was just, just checking. Okay. Second attack. All right. Uh, is not a nat twenty. It is a twelve plus eight twenty. Is a dirty twenty. Okay. Nope. That still hits. Okay, and that is for nine points of damage. And okay. then I greet Bost on the way back out as I use my bonus action to Still dash back. back. Still flit out the door. Okay. <laughs> Don't even help me. Do a, do a flip. Do a if, if I could have just run it, in, I would have no back out the door. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just did 49 points of damage. I, I mean, I understand. that's a 10. That's what? That's a 10? That's a 10. <laughs> 10. Yeah, I understand that. But so you gotta look at it from my perspective. I got. His pole arm. What's he gonna do? Inside me. How is he? What's he gonna and do? And I see him do all this fancy shit. You're not fancy. Just run in. Boom, boom, shoot. And then do a backflip. <laughs> oh, no, that, that <laughs> exit was pretty fancy. <laughs> so, For me, it's fancy. Let's put it down. Just, just to clarify, you have your lantern still on? Yep. Always got my lantern. Okay. Always the strap. I just want to make sure, because I'm trying to figure out if light would actually travel through the. The wall. I think I don't know. It's showing in the game that it's shown through. It's what do you mean light? It's dark in that area. That's I was just making sure you still had your lantern. Oh yeah. Otherwise you're attacking in pitch black. Oh no. I got my lantern. So the room lights <laughs> up when Mouse stepped in there and then it lights up with fire and then it goes and goes back to dark again. Then somebody comes in. Not a very big light because he doesn't keep it fully lit up. Like he shut it enough so it's still like it just goes out what 20 feet total 10 10 10 right yeah it's 10 bright 10 yep. 10 out. so 20 feet out so it's actually good it's just a yeah directional in a way uh so he comes in you see this little light uh, <laughs> you just hear what as he walks yeah. back <laughs> from my perspective what the fuck okay <laughs> uh, since he still has you grappled he can't attack with the pole arm but he does still get two attacks He'll just whip his tail at you twice. Um, two, 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 two. Just. I got something better than rip it right now. Um, do. It's close to the face. No, it needs to be riding a line. I wonder if I can get a line. Because <laughs> then they both look like oh, Give gear to my griffin. Damn. All right. Uh, first. No. And it's here, and that's right. That was the end of your turn, so he no longer has that benefit well, of right. that armor AC. So, uh, nineteen. Hi. Yep. On the first one. Okay. okay. And uh, let's see. That does. Ooh, dirty sevens. Uh, that's eighteen points of. Piercing damage, 
And as a stinger is inside you, you feel the pulse of the venom that is sinking in. Uh, I do need you to give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. You were going away. Okay. So, the stinger inflicts ten, Stinging. twenty, twenty-four Stinging. point oh, of poison damage points. on you. Now, the the save was not to reduce that. That is, it literally says poison damage, and you must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. You now become poisoned for one minute. Holy cow. Where? But the nice thing is, though, it does say the target, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns in an effect successfully. So at the end of your turn, you can repeat the saving throw to see if you can un get so unpoisoned. So a poisoned creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. So if you're still raged and trying to get unhooked, it's a straight roll right now. Um, that is one attack. Um, yep, yeah, it's pulls its tail back and fucking goes back in there. Uh, 17. Just hits. 17 just hits. Uh, 14 points of piercing. Now, I said the last one was for piercing was 18. That wasn't reduced. It would have been nine oh, no. points. You already reduced it? Yeah. Okay, so this one would be 14 <clears throat> points, so it's 7 points reduced. And you're already poisoned, so you don't have to do the saving throw again. Uh, uh, 3. 11 points of poison on that one. Is that reduced? Uh, do you have anything to reduce poison? It's all damage. As long as it's not damage. It's poison damage. You, you reduce... When you go into rage, what what all gets reduced? It's up there. Go up to rage. 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 You made me angry. You put all my pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess it doesn't say poison. So, so okay. okay. Uh, what did you roll for this one? I... This one was eleven. Okay, wow. I fixed the other one. Here, so okay. Because you had 24, right? Yes, 24 on the last one. Okay. I am damn near bleeding already. Yeah, I think you're bleeding when you took that pole arm. <laughs> and uh, walk, walk for his... He is going to actually pull you even pull further you in. Forbidden death. I couldn't you see before now. Back. I really can't fucking see. He's going to, he's going to pull you even further back. <clears throat> All right, and that will end his turn. Okay, and uh, it is your turn. So I roll Constitution at the end of my turn. At the end of your turn, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm raging, and I'm gonna use my action to break the grapple. Okay. Uh, straight roll. Um. Yep. Uh, dirty twenty. Okay, you definitely ripped this back out of you again. I can't see. I can see a light in the distance. Fuck it. I'm going for the light. So you're attempting to move again? Okay. Then on our inappropriate. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, this time it pays off. Uh, 13 to hit. No. Did okay. you say the light does go through the wall then? I don't know. Did you look anything up to see if light goes through? Okay. I mean, I, as far as I know, it... it did but in your screen is it showing light on your yeah, screen? Show. Yeah, it shows well. Yeah, on mine it shows as well. Um, right for right now, I I, I just know visually wise you can't see through it. I didn't know if light would penetrate. I have not. Maybe it's that like a two-way mirror. You can see out, but they can't see in. <clears throat> so, all right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, depending on how what. Depending on the wall, what it how it got there, I guess, is the is the answer. Is what it's saying pretty much. Yeah. That's ten. So if it got there because of it because of the spell like illusion or 30. something. 
um, then light will go through it. Okay, I used 25 movement, but if it's a, if it's like um, the well, illusionary wall spell, than that's a different deal. <laughs> now, yeah, for for the sakes of I'm saying light wise, I'm just gonna say because uh, it's not it's not really telling me, so I'm just gonna go with uh, oh. I'm gonna roll for it. Let help me decide. Uh, okay. Uh, no. I'm gonna say no on the. So how does that work on the for light. me then? Do I just guess? Do I instinctively know I need to walk backwards? Um, uh, if the light's not going through it and it's dark in that room. Then we're saying, uh, sir, I believe you would be considered almost what blinded in a way, but not quite. It's dark, pitch black. I believe, believe we did last time. Um, it it it's difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah that was gonna say it's half movement then, right? Yeah. Okay, so I got yeah. forty. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to say it's yeah, you're gonna it's gonna be half movement, so whatever your total movement is. Okay. And because I'm calling out to Bert Bert Tram. Can I see you guys? Hey you guys. Okay. Help me. Um Oh, you're gonna be quiet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he has to wait till it's turn to respond. Marco. That's a free action. But Bertram it Oh, this is how we communicate. One of us says, "Man, <laughs> we It's usually all of us saying "Mal." Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's me. I'm saying, "God, you guys." Okay. Well, hello, when... goodness, my old friend. So my my question is, you your your normal movement speed is forty. Is yes. what you said, right? Okay. Do you get the additional speed when you go into rage? Yeah. So it's only when you go into rage you get that speed. Yeah. Normal is 40. Right. I get 20 for instinctive pounce. Do you want me to throw it up? Go ahead and throw it up, because I thought it was only at, when you activated rage, you get it for that turn only, and then after that it's regular speed. Yeah, my regular speed is 40. Okay. Because... I, I Yeah, I forgot where you were at, so... Yeah, okay. So, I sorry, I forgot where you were at. I thought you moved... For some reason, forty total. That's that's my bad. Sorry. That that, that is. So where that are is, you now? He's right next, next to you. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that person who doesn't need light at all to be yeah, able bark, to see. Bark, bark. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, that ends boss's turn, right? That's all I can do. Uh, do I roll my con now? Uh, at the end of the turn, yeah, you can roll a con save to see if you continue to stay poisoned. 9 plus 12, 21. Uh, yeah, you're able to shake off the poison effect. I'm no longer poisoned. Uh, you do start getting a rumble in your tummy, though. I'm my tum tum. <laughs> oh, uh, that shrimp. Coming, coming back. Can I take a full action? Just go ahead and try and push this out. Ooh. You've already you used your action. Your action. Yeah. No, I'm saying next turn. And wait till I'm, I move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aiming for a wall, buddy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> oh. Let's 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 check I'm out aim, lights here. Aim, aim, aim for the monster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 right at mouth height. Let's. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's like the red faction. Uh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Form. All right, let's. <laughs> uh, Peter, <laughs> Peter, Peter. Please, uh, Thor, right. you're right after. All right. Um, <laughs> damn it. Uh, uh, all right. Um, I'm going to try to persuade Thoron to stay back. Thoron, buddy, you are no in no shape. To take this on. Stay back with me. Um, what's your passive insight? It's a disadvantage, but passive insight's a big 13, 15. Okay. 
L let's just do this. He uh, that's his DC oh, no, to persuade no, you. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yep. <laughs> so he has to roll persuasion, <laughs> and his DC <laughs> is thirteen. I will roll that. Yeah, that, I'll let it's you roll. But... Oh, it's a it good thing it's fifteen. Okay, so uh, go ahead and roll. Twenty-two persuade you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. You know, you're right. I'm gonna on my turn after as I. You're too tired turn. to care. Yeah, yeah Tucker, that's all you're doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm using I my over full to you. To I, you. I move back here to here, and I lean against the wall, and I just. Okay, so you, right, I'm tired, man. You, you moved. Just, you're persuaded. Yep. We went to his turn. Not he accepted it and moved, <laughs> and then that's all you're doing. Yep. So we have already. I guess that's two freaking turns right there done. Yep. Then what are you holding? Dodge. Oh, okay. <laughs> A dookie. Uh, Mal, uh, BF, you're after Mal. You're staying in this room. I probably will stay in this room. It's better with the dead body. Six. Bart from Bart. Yep, Bart from Okay. And then I need to dash on the cat and zoom around the room. Two cats, daylight. My orb. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if I'm staying in this room, it does not affect me. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Are you going to cast it on the, oh, no, on the orb, right? Yeah, she is, she is using her action yeah. to interact with the orb to yeah. cast daylight on it. Okay, so you do daylight. Yeah. Boom. And I have it go up. <laughs> okay. Are you leaving the orb there? No, I want it above my head. Right, but I mean, you manipulated to do daylight. Yes. You're going here. So if you move back out, are you leaving the orb there? Or is it coming back with you? That is what I want to know. I lose my orb. It's your fault, Bart. <laughs> so if, if you move out of the I'm space, just you're fine by myself right here. So yes, if you move out of space, you're going to leave it there. Yes. Okay, but are you staying, is this in in your turn then? Yeah, probably. Yes? Okay. Just praise the sun, guys. Okay. All right, uh, those that are in the room, it becomes very bright uh, inside that room. Yay! We, we haven't seen actual cool. daylight in how long? Uh, four or five days, yeah, maybe six. Yeah, a long time not to see daylight. Yeah. I mean, it's like being in a warehouse, spending all freaking day, it was morning, and then all of a sudden you get out, oh, fuck, it's bright. Yeah. It's day. It's daylight? What? Go in before the sun comes up. And then leave, leave before, before the, the sun. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, go in, you go in before it comes up, but you leave after it goes down, so I, it's like, I, fuck. I in yeah, been there. It was going For down, sure, yeah. Did that for too long. For okay. Long. All right. Um, if that ends her turn, then it's going to go BF and then yeah. Bernice right after. Uh, Bart's going to charge forward 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oops, that's 30. Never mind. Oh, 25. Can't go that Back up. Uh, he is going to use his bonus action to use his vow of enmity. Okay. Do it again. Against this. Devil. Don't crush that man. Break and down. then I'm going to smash him with my maul. Is it the dark maul? All right. No, it's a light maul. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be a 15 plus 8, 23. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. Okay. You have not missed a single one with either one of your I'm characters. I'm going to pump in my uh, second level divine smite. Okay. It's called fireball damage, right here. Yep. Fireball. Oh, and there's Thunder Smite as well. He needs to make a saving throw. Strength. <laughs> 8, 10, 15, 20. It's D8s instead of D6s, though. I mean, it's pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's there's two D6s, I think. Or three. Four, 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 four. Jesus Christ. If okay. No, it's 44 well. points of damage. <laughs> thunder damage. Thunder. So four of these. Oh, no. You've been. You've been hit by. You said four D four. 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 Criminal art. 
All right. Did you uh, make things? Uh, uh, and it, the save would be um, uh, fourteen. Okay, just a second here. Uh, that weapon you used—that was your magical yeah. ability My weapon, packed weapon. Okay. That must be. Okay. Uh, yeah, he he failed it. Save. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 oh. Six. <laughs> what does that mean? That means thunder smite. <laughs> he gets blown back. In yeah. Front. He can't. He's prone. Go. Prone. He can't fall. Go anywhere. Really. Yeah. I mean, he's already up pretty much against the wall. Prone, he's prone. So you kind of knock him against the wall and he goes down. Oh, and prone. knock him down. But if he get back. Up All right. Again. So forty-four <laughs> points. Wow. Forty-four <laughs> points total. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was that make attack. 10 this time? <laughs> <laughs> when your first attack's so good, you forget about your second. <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time. No, it's never happened to me. <laughs> oh, 10 plus a 18? Uh, misses. Oh, there you go. What? And you did it with uh, advantage, right? I did it with advantage. Yep. I rolled on 8. eight 18 total? Yes. That misses. Um, And unfortunately... <sighs> I don't have any other rules. You kind, of, you kind of try to come down, but his tail just whips and hits hits it. Uh, which, yeah. Fine. Fine. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. How far away are you? Uh, Bernice, it'd be uh, your turn. Bernice is going to charge in five. Five. And then you realize how bright it is. <laughs> Freaking heck. Um, you heard a giant. Yeah. <laughs> Blast of thunder. Um, she's gonna bonus action cast her spiritual weapon at fourth level. And uh nice. so twenty-eight. And you did that with advantage? Because it's technically prone. Yep, twenty-eight. <laughs> What'd you What'd you roll? 19. A 19. You got a plus 10? Plus 9. Wow. Okay. It's black Mars. Star Wars. Uh, yeah. That hits. And. Uh. 13 points. Okay. And. Uh. uh Pew! Uh, sacred flame. Sacred flame. Uh, dex save of seventeen. What? God damn it! Well, well, <laughs> somebody's gotta Do yell what? at me. Well, nothing. Nothing. So like... we're not metagaming. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, I should have metagamed her because she should have used guiding bolt. That's what I was telling. Her. Yeah. Oh. An advantage. <laughs> You know, uh, well, too. Who's that? yeah, well, that that would have been nice, Continue but remember, with it being prone and she's using a range, it would have been disadvantaged on attack. It was normal, yeah, yeah, it would have just been. Uh, oh, no, it would have been disadvantage, yeah, it'd have been a disadvantage attack, and then if she did hit, then somebody would have even more advantage, but um, 19 on the deck save. Bertram's turn. Bertram's turn? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Bertram's Bertram's up. Top of the round. Oh, you are. Can you just put a gear cast of weapon? What? Oh, it's on the alpha. Somebody moved back. You added a gear cast. Which yeah. Is not very nice. Yeah, somebody did definitely <laughs> move back. <laughs> huh? oh, what? Somebody what? back? You moved back. So, so, somebody moved back in case somebody else wanted to throw another fireball in there. <laughs> and it would force more people to get in closer. I'm, I'm going to use uh, 30 feet of movement to go here. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to dash. I'm going to use 10 feet of movement to get to him, or 5 feet of movement to get to him. That's all I need, though. Yeah, technically five and feet. And I'm going to stick him with my pokey stick. <laughs> Hold him. And I've got an ally. Anyway, blah. Ah, oh, you joking me. Uh, Not good. Double no. sevens. 
Uh, so fifteen to hit. Misses. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a fourteen and a twenty-two. That one will hit. Okay. And so that's gonna be. Yay. 11 points of damage. Ridiculous. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to hide behind Bernice. No. <laughs> Technically, all three of us are hiding behind Bernice. No. You get away from Bernice. All it's right. my job. <laughs> uh, the creature stands up. Hiding behind Bernice. And... Yeah. Okay. We're on the same height, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, you are. Bart is the closest one, but definitely doesn't like. Yeah. Yeah. He's... Sure. Bring it. What? Devil. The death toll. Also known as Devil Dog. Glad this isn't a real death call. I don't know. Looking at the picture, I think I'd rather fight a death claw at the moment than this. Yeah, at least that claw's feast range probably wouldn't be as far. <laughs> they can't hold pull of birds. Hey, um, boss, I forgot to. I rolled that natural 20. I didn't do the double. Uh, take another 12 points of damage off of yours. <laughs> Because it would have been late, but well, I completely forgot about it. Okay. Um, I because it would have been twenty four, but you're below half health. It would have been twenty four points, but you are raging, so I reduced it to. So 12. you still have more than me. Oh. So. Uh, <laughs> I, I have less than Perquin. You have two less than Perquin. All right, so <laughs> you with you being as close as you were he does end up missing you with the pole arm with Ooh. a uh 13. Oh, he misses you. He miss me? uh he misses <laughs> bark it's he at disadvantage bark. because it's a range it's yeah. not at disadvantage it just says i this reach is 10 feet it doesn't say anything about disadvantage if you're too close no you can attack both five or ten feet yeah oh. um pole arms are pretty cool but i'm now. using it as your up in there, so he misses yeah, you with the pole arm, but his tail whips around. And have you ever practiced or used a pole arm? Uh, misses. You can you can manipulate your hands around that easily. So you can just like bring it closer to you. Use your body to. Or yeah, a ninety. Yes, a ninety. That for me. No, it's not for you. It's oh, because I rolled a natural kill. one. Oh, yeah, I was wondering because Ooh. he did. It. Yeah, I, I I rolled a I rolled a natural <laughs> one. Next time. Um, right in the middle of the base. Yeah, it's, a ninety's great. Oh, oh 90, ninety is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> for the D, for Ooh. the NPC. That's an automatic four. No, 16 points of damage. It's a 90 on our chart. Oh, it's, it's at, at times 4 damage. And add another four, 8 points on top of that. That's 24 points of damage it inflicts upon itself. It's, it's, it's the opponent just... gets to make an attack. No, it's, it's, it's a critical <laughs> hit. It's, it's a, on mine, it's a no, no, critical we're hit. Which that, so. Yep. Is it, isn't, isn't like 100 to mark off insta death? Spells. I think 99 and 100 is insta death on his. Oh, wait, no, that's critical. No, it's just 100. 20. Just 100. Nice. Um, 99 is wow, quadruple that, damage. That kind of sucked. Did it kill itself? No. Oh. Who did you do that? Um, <laughs> so known as a buster. Oh, well, actually. That... Team Skeleton with the Unibrow. It's, uh, oh, uh, 24. Oops. Okay. Who's up now? Uh, that's Sorry. The devil. It's, uh, it's still, it's still the devil's turn. I'm just, I'm uh, getting my calculations here. I'm sorry. After the devil, it's me. Um, I am trying to also look at something else as well. Uh, Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I know that's not. Yeah, we just kind of kept all. What? Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> um, no, there, there's. I knew that wasn't going to happen. All right, so sorry. I was looking for uh, room dimensions to see how t how tall the ceiling was on this. So that's all. That's space for Pathfinder. So all right. Uh, yeah. No, that'll end. That'll end. Uh, his turn, and it goes to boss. Yay. Fuck it. We're just gonna go. I move. Here, because fucking why not? I reckless. Uh, seventeen plus eight. What's that? Five. Five to hit. Uh, our sword. Okay. Any D twelve plus? Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, 16 damage. Okay. Again. Uh, 14 <laughs> plus 8, that would be... 22. 22. That hits. Oh, yeah. Plus 18 damage. All right. And that's all I can do. Okay. You have disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone but me. Oh, he's cracked a smile as soon as he saw know, you come back up. I know. Especially Ryan, since I need the bone devil. <laughs> especially since your weapon didn't seem like it did as much damage as you were hoping. Oh, I know. Jason knows. So, because Jason knows bone devil suck dick. Berkeley. All right. So you're just gonna stay behind me, right? Was that the higher low? Yeah, <laughs> persuasion is not to go forward. Uh, hi. No. No. You have to persuade me now. Gotta get I, I gotta persuade you to stay behind me. Yeah. Stick behind me, kid. <laughs> wow. Kid, I'm like twice your age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like three, three times his age. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm like How about a 22? Yeah, you convinced me. <laughs> you know, I'm actually going to roll for it. Damn it, an 18 and a 4. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure even if we went off the hit, your your. Well, my, my insight is a plus. So you use your five. action to persuade. Uh huh. And then Are I'm you... gonna move ten feet up. Get okay. Uh huh. Blinded. All right. That's it. Yep. Thorin, it would go to your turn. You're persuaded not to go any further. He said to go behind, stay behind him. Yes. Yeah, oh, behind I me. Said. So oh. I'm going to go up right behind him. Lick the, or just like look at the look at the awesome imaginary yeah. wall. Just know? just be careful. It glitches and people get frozen in it. Uh, it, I've heard many stories about this. What is this? Dark Souls? Jesus. No, it's Doom. Oh, Doom. The movie with the rock. Oh yeah. All oh, right, sorry. Dark. Is that all you're doing then? You're looking at an imaginary wall. Not looking. I'm I'm, I'm admiring the, the the craftsmanship of this imaginary wall. <laughs> okay. Roll investigation check. I don't. I just I'm trying to get you to roll something here. Investigation? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's you're admiring a, it. That's a seventeen. Okay, you really admire it. it. Yeah. Or if it's perception, that'd be a, a an eighteen. You know? Yeah, you really admire it. Yeah, Let's just really. leave it that. Oodles of noodles. Yes. Okay. Um. Then it's going to go to Mal. And you're still in my circle of inspiration. My aura. Hmm. I want it all. Is so when I cast daylight on my orb. A little bit louder. When I cast a daylight on my orb, is that a concentration? 
or did it just happen? Um, it's part of the orbs magic. Yeah, it's part of the orbs orbs thing. I, it lasts for so long, according to the orbs. Um, yeah, I spell the orb uh, concentrating on it then. Well, uh, it's only it is a concentrated bit called? of matter. So I mean, I be- <sighs> It's it's a globe. <laughs> Globe line? Drift globe. Drift globe, yes. Drift. You cast the daylight spell, so however long the daylight spell lasts. Yeah. I have that over here for her. Hour. So an hour. Yeah, so, yeah. It on for an hour. So it's, yeah, it it'll stay it'll stay lit for about an hour. We're always lit, man. So what what are, what are you uh, what I are you want gonna to do? Cast moonbeam at third level on the bone devil. Okay. You rickety wrecked, son. <laughs> yeah. A natural twenty. Is it radiant damage? Yes. yes. It is no. radiant damage. Is it? Yes. I thought it was force. It's oh, radiant. Force damage is fire no no fire force damage fire is damage. force fire is fire For, force is technically like a pure, pure energy blast yeah yes. pure energy Five. 20 20 total yes it succeeded with a natural 20 so only <laughs> only 10 yeah. points I did. The 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 Alright. Okay, I do not have a ring for that out right now, so we're just going to leave it right there for now. Okay, um, then it goes to BF, then if you're done. Are you moving or anything? It's up to me. Um, yeah, just I making sure she's. To move behind Bertram and hide. <laughs> got okay. the conga line going. Oh my God. <laughs> Two of them. You're starting the other one. <laughs> Shit. Uh, can I make it? Conga line through the thing. Do, do, do the can snake. I make it? I can make it. I can, I can get behind you and yeah, oh and then God. get impaled again, possibly. Okay. Uh, then yeah, BF, your turn. Uh, He's taking radiant damage. So He's said, no, I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast under smite. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to attack. Uh, and if it hits, I'm going to pump in a second level divine. Mine. Okay, thank you. Uh, 17 plus... Did you do that with advantage? Hmm? Bow enmity. Oh, shit. I forgot all about that stupid <laughs> effect that was going on. I Yeah, because uh, I, I would have marked him. I completely forgot. 25. Uh, 25 to hit? Yeah, yeah that's going to hit. Holy moly. Uh, seven. Six and four. Forty. Okay. Uh, it makes strength saving throw. As the explosion of... Uh, what's the DC? Fourteen. Uh, 18 total. Okay, so he makes it then. And then I will make my second attack. Oh, it's a bang. Uh, well, that's a 16. Uh, and that is... Uh, so 16 plus 8, 24. Yep. And so that's only going to be... 6 points of damage. Alright. Double ones. Ouch. Snake eyes. I know how you feel. Uh, I had two D twelves and I rolled a and one and a two. So isn't that a good thing? I gotta mark off my spells that I just used and I'm done. Look for Koopa. Okay. Hey. Alright. Bernice. Um curious. Yeah. I'm going to attack again with the uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. I've done. Uh, that 
is a 25. That's going to hit. And roll for damage. Ooh, nice. Um, 19 points. All right. Hey, you want to do this? Chop his face off. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm going to chop his head off. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> My spirit weapon. All right. It's a morning star. We're going to chop with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You're right. That, I'm her sorry. old weapon I thought was a morning star. Her oh, new yeah, spiritual weapon is a what? It's a whip. It's a whip? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> And that thing just spins. Okay, just <laughs> you know what? I like it. That's so, awesome. so you want you want to use it to like remove the head and stuff. Yes, oh yes. shit! What the hell? Yo, now oh, you don't have to do all that work to take the skull. Let's go, Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Teamwork. Yeah, Teamwork makes the dream work. As your spiritual weapon whips okay. around, wrapping around its neck, and begins to begin to pull, you hear telepathically. Coming from the devil. I just wanted to kill Skinnerin. As your head no, rips so off. Uh, as his head rips off. It's solid form. Begins to start turning black. As this black ichor just splatters onto the ground. Dang it. There was other devils you guys fought. The same shit happened. I don't care. <laughs> I wanted this skull. In its, in its place, Black Icker, I do need Bost and Bertram, or Bart, to uh, roll me a uh, dex save, would you please? It doesn't fucking matter. Well... <laughs> Hey, you're just flipping off everything, aren't you? <laughs> I rolled two tens. Five. Hey. Five. I got a twelve. Boys. I rolled three. Nice, damn, damn it. it. We got you so good. You're welcome. Pretty good. Already I have health. Uh, oh, what a shame. Oh, pussy. Um, 24 points of poison damage. Oh, wow. 12 points of poison damage as that black icker just covers you. Err. Nah. Ick. Damn. It's ick. I'm literally down 100 points of damage. Black So you're at 100 now? No, I'm down 100. But you're at 100 now. How's that? Yep, that's not actually 200. No, I'm at 156. Okay. Yeah, just 156. Why does this keep doing? You literally are the tankiest person here. Have 93. I don't know. I think, uh, she has all those temporary hit points, how though. How yeah. many hit points do you have all together? 93. So, 13. Again, so. that, that black ichor oh, hits the ground. It's 93. <laughs> the, the skull itself was ripped from its body with the with your uh, spiritual weapons whip. 104. And max. The, those that were in proximity got covered with this black ichor. You can feel the sensation wow. of it seeping in your skin as you took the poison damage. I do not need you to require a constitution saving throw as in it wasn't injected into your body. It's just poison damage that hit and soaked into your skin um, hey, and orifices and whatnot. But poisoning. we're just going to say, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, um, who uses poison arrow? So, that, oh. is that the is it. still is, there? The polearm drops to the ground with a tink sound. Can I take the polearm, guys? No. You can absolutely have it. No. Yeah. Covered in kind of polearm. I thought you were going to have an arm wrestle for it. We'll be right back. We're going to use the restroom. We'll be right back. I did. Hey, you guys, we are back from our short rest here. Thank you so much for what pace, being patient. Um, unfortunately, we did lose connection during the short rest, so. Uh, if you're on this one, we do have another video that apparently got posted saying we ended the stream and start a new one. So, fortunately, this is a two-parter of the stream. I do apologize uh, with the technical difficulties on that part. But, uh, we'll go ahead and get right back in it. The, the, uh, the, the group just finished their encounter uh, with um, the Bone Devil. 
Um, with it turning into a black ichor and splashing down, it's a uh, hooked palm hitting the ground and whatnot, and you guys were kind of deciding what to do with it. Uh, again, we discussed it. As far as the hook poem goes, we're going to consider it a heavy uh, feature to where if you do wield it, it would be disadvantage uh, on the attacks as it was, is much larger than what you normally can wield. Um, so with that, what are you guys doing? So I still have the question. Yes. On why old superior mage out here couldn't take this guy. He was keeping the. You lead. know, that's actually a good question. Yeah. Um, that, that's that's also a question he, he you guys asked before. Yeah, we all asked. That. I know, but it's yeah. still he's full yeah. of shit. Yeah, I I don't trust that guy as far as I can throw him, and I can I throw him pretty him. far. <laughs> so you, you trust him pretty far? I don't understand. <laughs> While we're arguing over some stupid stuff, I want to open this door. Uh, uh, I, I take yeah, my... we're, yeah, we're, we're having a discussion. Mal opens the door. Yep. I open my book and I take Check some of the and put like fingerprints and stuff on it. <laughs> and then on Great the next page, Pepsi. I write down Bone Devil Juice. <laughs> Can you try this for Pepsi? Uh, yeah. Give yourself and 25 I, points. And I guess Bertrand will check out this. You give yourself 25 points. Um, to do so, you will take five points. I get 25 points. Thank you very much. To do so, you will take five points of poison damage. Five. As you stick your hand in. As you're sticking your hand in. I only need 12 points. I'm with the ichor. Oh, he's got a pain for us. So give him the rest. Function. So 13. Yeah, I'll 13 do it. 38. So 38 altogether. Okay, so buy into a piece of cardboard. Never mind. For, no forget cardboard. <laughs> forget the damage I said. It soaks into your book and fucks up five of your pages. Not twisted to the All encyclopedia. Right. Stuck together. All right. <laughs> so five previous pages or five uh, next pages, whichever you put it on, it soaks Ooh, into the book more than usual, and. Ruins those pages. Are we in a team party? The uh, Naga, the Troll, the Drow, and the Large There's Frogs. Chips. Yes. Okay, so Mal, you're opening up a door? Yes, Three, I would four. love to open it. And Bertram's going to look at the statue. Yeah. All right, door's open. I want to walk into this room. Ignore the red ring because I just stuck it over there just to box. get it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk in behind her. Wait, I brought my orb with me. What was in here, anyways, guys? Oh, what's this black mess scoop sitting over here? No, um, to see. answer the question real quick, I'm just gonna do the statue first, real quick, since you're still in that room and people are traveling into the other room. Apparently, um, Bost was still messing with his book. Where's everybody? Uh, a raised stone alcove. <gasps> Uh, you, uh, as you Just walk up it, you see that it contains a chipped and worn statue of a female drow riding a giant lizard. The tip of the lizard's tail is broken off and is missing. Uh, can I check for secret traps, doors, anything like that? So you want to investigate the statue? Yep. Uh, sure, go right ahead. Because you know investigation oh, is my strong suit. Uh, 12. Uh, as far as you can tell, that chipped tail is about the only thing that seems to be missing on the statue. Um, for though, uh, for Mal and Bernice, as you watch in, uh, walk into this room and you get closer to the cent uh, closer to the opening of the room, uh, a large pentagram is inscribed on the floor of this 20 foot high dome chamber. No, maybe this is how it came along. Oh. I'm talking about it. I prefer octograms. Octograms. What did you say? You see his pentagram? I said, I prefer octograms. <laughs> oh. More aesthetically pleasing. That's That's what you That's what you see. That's it? But yeah, that's it. Nothing on the walls? Nope. 
what of what candles if... set at each point of the... Nope. What happens if I touch the pentagram? Find out. Fast, would you like to come touch the pentagram? Are you asking nicely? Yes, please. Can you roll a persuasion? <laughs> I'm going to lose, so I just want to see if you ask nicely. I don't know. Are you going to Are you within my circle? No. Oh. In your circle. That's You're not, so I'm not going to lose. Yeah, what'd you get? Never mind. I got a nat 20. Yeah, that ain't happening. Denise? Um. Any help? No. I'm okay. I don't need it. A little louder. Okay. I guess Bart will eventually go check out. What? What? Uh, do you have dark vision? Data have dark vision? I do not. Yeah, so you're just standing over there in the. Uh -huh. Nope. The nightness awaits him. Just because. Uh... Do you still have daylight on? Yeah. That's the thing on. That's kind of why I follow them, because I can't see without light. Oh no. Did you recall the light to you? I'm yeah, assuming? I took it with me. Even if that means you see I a little bit of light from on the statue from Bertrand. But I mean, I also thanks to uh being part uh Werebat, uh well, not a big the blind. fan. Uh-huh. But I'm not a big fan of uh Oh yeah, the daylight. Bright light. light. <laughs> the the question is is did you turn into a bat after no. you woke up? No. I didn't think you did. But I thought I still got the disadvantage for bright light. Mm. I'm going to say currently no. Okay. I, I'm just going to say currently no just due to the fact that you're not transformed and you're... Uh, something's happening to, to that currently. So I'm going to say no right now. Uh -huh. Like It doesn't bother you as much as it used to. So... I don't need as dark shaded glasses. Yeah. Still need sunglasses though. Yeah, Oops. well, they'll do okay, have. Looks like I they move forward. Disarmed. I'm kind of just on the outside outskirts of the. Okay. <laughs> what is it drawn with? Like chalk? Is it drawn with blood? Is it? <laughs> you know the usual question. Is it drawn in robotic? <laughs> did, an, I, did an AI do it? No. Um. I mean, so here, here's the thing. Um, do you study? Have do, do, any type of your magic or your class would study pentagrams? I mean, yeah. Will Abyssal study pentagrams? I'm pretty sure. Vengeance would. Are you proficient um, in religion? Oh. Well, it's actually Arcana. No. Oh. <laughs> no. You gonna holler for me to enter the room? I am not. So I guess I will holler for the wizard. All right. Oh, God damn it! Come in. Peter. Are you standing yeah. behind Peter there, Thorn? <laughs> Yeah, are you going to be my battle buddy and stay behind me? Well, you've convinced me twice, so yes. <laughs> Come on, then. Where'd you go? Where'd you Into the room go? to the left. The <laughs> I was literally thinking about that. <laughs> All right, let me get a little closer. To look at this thing. Is, uh, oh, Mal's down next to Bart there? The, I guess. At the opening? Um, you because you're a wizard. Wizard Harry. <laughs> Arcana check if you want to do arcana check with advantage. Okay. How about a 16? Fortunately, this did not fall in your wheelhouse. Um, it definitely is a pentagram. I got a 9 and a 3. Can I give him guidance? Sure. <laughs> Roll, well, not you. He ro rolls a d4. Okay. About a 17. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I no. I tried. Sorry. It was worth a try. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like a pentagram. You've seen these drawn before. That's uh, about all you really ascertain to this. Uh, as far as carved or etched, it doesn't look like 
it's carved or etched in a way or drawn on, but it definitely doesn't look like it can be removed. So stonework wise, it almost looks like it's maybe inlay. So it's like permanently here kind it's of thing. Like it's permanently Isn't this a installed. summoning chamber? Permanently here until a dwarf <laughs> comes around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take out my wand of secrets and then scan the room, see if there's any. So, second charge, wand of secrets. Uh, does it have a radius on that? I, I forget if it has any type of radius or not on there. <clears throat> Let's see. Where are Uh, 30 feet. Okay. All right. That's that's what I want to know because I it it's what it, whether or not like you detect anything. Um. Within 30 feet of you, it uh, nothing nothing happens. Well. <clears throat> Um, didn't you didn't you use that in the previous round? Mm -hmm. What yeah. happened? That's I, how she found the door behind the, the tapestry, and yeah. she kind of opened it up. Oh, I forgot all about that shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, was in that room? No, yeah, nobody looked. Nobody's well, looked because yet, somebody yeah. else stuck their head through the illusionary wall and began. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll look at the tapestry. I am going to leave this. I'm just going to circle around at the stonework well, because I can. That, Bertrand keeps an eye on <laughs> You stay away and then no, I'm just watching. I walk out of the room. Okay. Because. And. Oops. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Oop, wrong. <laughs> and sorry, I was moving your spiritual weapon off the board. Let's see. The only thing over here is that statue, right? That's all he could determine. Yes, is there is only a statue, unless he said. Did he? Did you tell anybody that no. it's just a statue? Okay. Nope. Nobody. So asked. just glancing over, it just looks like a statue. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down of here. A brow and... or a elf, whatnot, person riding on a lizard. I'm going to go into the other room and <clears throat> wait patiently for everybody else. And, uh, I'm going to go in the okay. other room. So instead of having to move all the tokens, move everything around, um, we'll just say you guys are moving to anything else. You did open the door behind the tapestry. Did you tell anybody else? Uh, I told... Uh... Did you I don't stick remember. your head behind? No. Wait, there's another but door I was in this going room? To. But I was like standing yes, right next to you. Yes, there is another door in this room. Out, Bertram will go look. Well, they're all... I'm... Bertram will go look at that. Okay. As soon as they all come in, I'm going to tell them that there's a door behind that tapestry. Lies. And let them know. No way. Okay, I'm guessing Perquin and Thorin would follow back into yeah. the other room, correct? Yes. Oh, why? Mm -hmm. Coming. I, I was moving you guys. Ah, you grabbed it Ooh, right as I was floating. moving it over there. Sorry, <laughs> it's it's fine. Um, okay. Walking in sunshine. Real quick, Bertram, what you see is uh, glyphs etched in the door that are in silver coloring. In fact, if you look at the other door that you walked in on, you see the same etchings, same glyphs etched into the door and the door frame, all. And does, this, does this door have a door handle? Yeah, it still has a handle yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to test it. Okay. So you test the handle? Yep, you see if it's unlocked. Okay. Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> Are you within my circle? No. No, he is outside the circle. I'm. F Falker is outside the circle of well, crust. That's lovely. 
<laughs> What'd you get? Eight. You scare the shit out of you as you touch the, the <laughs> handle. Nothing happens to you. <laughs> I rolled on that one. Thank you. Got it out of the way. <laughs> you see the glyphs, and you. <laughs> you're yeah, like, I'm just so amped up for like. Yeah, you're. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, you're just. Oh, nothing. Nothing happened, and it seems to be unlocked. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. As, open. And you turn it and open up yep. the door. Does it open out or open in? It opens in. This this one swings in towards you. Okay. So when you grab it and you pull it towards you, you will notice that the glyphs themselves, those uh, that were silver, kind of uh, they they glow a little bit, but then they stop, like like you just broke a seal. Why would you come in the deals? <laughs> I'll go in. And then you can do it with them. Oh my gosh, that's not what I want to do. No, I just wanted one item, not. The whole freaking. Uh... I rolled a twenty-one. Oh. To no, because I keep. <laughs> Just piss off. <You're>... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just eyes so on everyone. Yeah. it's not letting me grab the door. I am literally grabbing everything. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to drop you in there. The door has been obstructed. Because it, I can't. It, it, I'm literally grabbing all the walls yeah. and the door. It, it won't let. Yeah, me, I'm going in. It won't let me open up the door. So, uh, I'm just gonna grab your token and throw you in there. Oh, she's a. Okay. Well, you can go back to them now. Okay. Uh, how, how far do you... <laughs> your light is, what, 10 feet? And then 10 feet. 10 feet and 10 feet? Yeah. yeah. I can't see to the back of this room. Yeah, I think I only have it t set to 10 feet total. Oh. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, I don't know. Let me check. Them just no, total sure. light is 20. Yeah. It's 20, so it'd be, ten, it'd be uh, yeah, no. I think we looked this up once before. Not once. Uh, no, I, I have a, I have it set for twenty feet total, uh, but I don't have directional light on. Where you want it directional, right? Just yeah. Okay. It's always so, forward on for me. Yeah. Place is you. Place. Yeah. Well, I don't. I won't mess with it. We'll just yeah. We'll just say it is because it does have directional, but it's using degrees and all this. Other, yeah. um, I'll I'll mess with that off screen. It's fine. Uh, okay, so you're inside this room. I'm just trying to measure out. Uh, we said twenty feet total. So you say you can't see the back of this. Yeah. Uh, I don't see the. I don't see a wall in the back from from where I'm standing. Is it close? Yeah, it says it's twenty. Yeah, but. I'd say yeah. you'd have to this see. Is, this is what I see. I, I don't see the oh. back. Yeah, I, I guess it is true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we'll leave it at that. Um, you were checking to see if you saw him go into this room. Is that what? Um, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I'm not being stealth. No. Oh, actually, I changed change my mind. Yeah, just... and I can re roll my roll if you um i was just gonna look around this room and see if there's any other doors before i go into okay just for the narrative purposes and for your lighting situation i'm gonna say as soon as you stepped into the room the door just kind of closes behind you right. automatically oh and that's why the door's not open oh okay so we're, we'll just play it off like that that should work out just fine yeah um Okay, so yes, you do see that there is another door. It's pretty easy to see that there is another door. There's two doors technically in this room. You do know about the secret door that you've already opened up that's right behind the tapestry. Yeah. Um, uh, I tell them about the secret door behind the tapestry, but then I also tell them that we should check out this other room before we move on behind the tapestry. I think I that's a good that. plan. Didn't we come through one of these doors? Uh-huh. I think we came through that other one. Not the one at the angle, but the other one. This one? This one. Yeah. 
Where's Bertrand? I don't know. I think he went through that other door. Okay. Let's see if I saw Bertrand here. I wasn't doing it stealthy. Yeah. He, he yeah. definitely wasn't. You guys probably you heard a door nice shut. Mm -hmm. Because even the same the same thing it happened, which you guys didn't notice too much, that the door that you came through also had closed right behind you as well. I'm going to go um, open. Sorry, open that door and look in. You see Bertram standing there, not too far from the door. <laughs> Um, hey, Bertram, with whatever what light is shining in, we'll just have to, yeah, theatrical of mine since it, for some reason won't let me open the door. I mean, I would be moving slowly. Yeah, and as it does, the room does light up as she opens the door. Uh, you do notice at the back of the room, which I did not, I don't have it on the map right now visually, uh, is a stone arch. Touchdown? Uh, stone arch, like one that we have similarly seen. Yes. Before? Yes. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to go check this out then. I'm, I keep the door held open just so I can see in. And I yell at Bertram, what do you see in there? So the stone arch, as you get closer, you notice that uh, an image of an open book is carved into its keystone. Book. Just, just, just that. That's the only thing. Nothing else around. Nothing you know, else. There's no other. Just that book. Yeah, the it's keystone. just a carved in the keystone of an open book. Yeah. What if you need an open book? Um. How how tall is it? Um. I we've been we've been oh, no. saying that. We've basically been saying the dwarfs can reach it, but it's tall, it's tall enough. I, I just use my staff to push the book, see what happens. Okay, nothing happens. You just you feel the stone tink, tink, tink as you're pushing it. I think we have a spell book, don't we? Well, I know somebody has a spell. We have some extra spell books, too. We have a bathroom wall, have we? No, you hadn't really had time. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not we very good at puzzles, we so... We should probably start doing that on short rest, so into our equipment that we've... I will... Let's yeah. see. Do you have all the spell books, or do I have some in my... No, I, I don't. I've got a in. portal. 503. <laughs> bite time. We found a portal. I yell out to everybody, hey, hey we have a portal in here, guys. No way, bro. I'm not going through another. <laughs> all right, cool. No way, girl. <laughs> Where does all go? There we go. The door's open. Everybody rush the door now. Now, now, the, now the door. Now I got the door. Whee. Now I was able to get the door. I had Bernice had to open it. Yay! I see how it is. <laughs> You're not a dwarf, so you don't have to just species. Oh, yeah. The true queen had to open it. No, um Does that mean that Thoron would have been able to open it too? No. 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 The, the true king. Stay away from my sister. No, it's the true king. She's a queen of a different nation, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay so again that you holler back that there's a book an open book carved on the keystone you're no good at puzzles somebody come check this shit out yep. okay so what is the rest of you doing i want to go I'll, behind I'll head in up the app okay you're gonna head in what are you doing i want to go behind the tapestry where are we going that's fine you're gonna that's you're fine. gonna veer off and go behind the tapestry where are we going? Yep. okay we're going oh, not to. We're gonna do All right. it. Um, you guys go in. You see the same thing again. I usually put the portal thing on there on the map, but um, for right now I don't have it set. Your so turn. wait. Went to one. You went to one. Well, actually, I turn. think I could probably look that back up what am I doing? and see if I can find it. Portal. Sure. I'll go through the portal. Like it. What? Well, we're we're we open it. Yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah. We no, let them go open. through. Yeah. It's not <laughs> no, I'm talking about whenever it gets open. I, I can't even open damn D and D Beyond right now. Yeah. Four or five. So yeah. Five or three. Three. Gateway I timeout. Oh, the fuck that means. We've both been timed out. We're in timeout. <laughs> and it's a gateway. It's a gateway drug. <laughs> uh. 
Wow, it doesn't even pull up like the website. No, it it doesn't even pull up. It, it before it showed five hundred four gateway timeout and it showed the reason behind it. But now it's not even saying that. Yeah. I don't know. Can you see that now? Oh, hey, there's a portal there now. Is there, uh, can you see it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. There, there, there is a arch there. Oh, all right. Yep. Appeared. All right. Yep. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I know what my solution is. Getting a little bit quicker at dropping stuff, but I'm just surprised that it actually worked. So, this if time. you die, does your curse leave? What the heck? What? Um, you One of them's going to low. Revive spells. <laughs> spells that bring you back will tell you exactly on there as well. It's, if it says you're cursed and you brought back, the curse stays with you. It will tell you on there. So I think if you're doing like Revivify, which technically you're not all the way dead, because you got to be dead for what, less than a minute? So in combat, technically you can do it and cast it. Curses would probably continue to linger. But as far as, like, if you've been dead for, let's say, a month, three months, whatever, and you're using a bigger spell, I'm not sure unless the spell says. Technically, you're not dead till you're warm and dead, but... So, so if the spell says if the spell says that you come back alive, but if you had any other conditions on you, like being cursed or anything else, that, then it would probably say it's either removed or it comes back with you. Okay. Um, I believe is what some of the wordings say. But you're not dead and you're not cursed. So, what if your turn? If that happens, we'll go through that step by step. So, that anyways, be an oathbreaker? what is Bart doing? Because Bart's lingering back in the room. Bart had moved forward. Okay, he's moving on. So everybody but Mal is in the the arch room. Yep. Okay. Let me. Where's Mal? I died. Let me settle Mal's real quick since it's just a little bit easier. Uh, Mal, are, are you, you going further in? Yes. Okay. No way, it's a bear. <laughs> you shouldn't see your... <laughs> I can see my bear. I know, it's outside. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so as you come into this room and you go around the corner, uh, you see stacked against the south wall are seven, seven iron chests. <gasps> Can I touch like the chest? You want to touch? I want to touch the chest. Okay. The go. iron chest. Uh, go right ahead. On the iron maiden. You, you, you touched the chest. Yes, I touched it. Okay. Uh, Your hand is now stuck to it. Awesome. I'm going to sit here. You have the strange feeling like they're all surrounding you right now. All the chests. And as you look... They all have teeth. They're gonna bite you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what happens? They're not mimics. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's cold. It's cold to the touch. <laughs> it's cold to the touch, and oh, nothing oh. happens when you touch it. Okay, can I open it? Um, sure. You go to oh, you go to open it, and it doesn't open. Oh, <gasps> perfect tools. I grab my lock picks and I try to unlock. Okay, give me a we left slide of... alone in the treasure room. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else can get a single thing. Hey, he's lucky. Oh, we're gonna get all the second. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, go. I'm gonna get none of the shit. Look what I rolled. You rolled a nat one. That's better. Natural twenty. Plus wow, slide of hand. Streams. Thirty-one. Oh my god. You not only open up this one chest, but you easily just go to each one and unlock them all without a hesitation you just to snoot of all just stuff. to go ahead and get it done as you hold the lock the lock pick in one position protected by master <laughs> <laughs> you go, the sad part <laughs> is <laughs> you go and throw open the first box uh, oh, it's great. completely empty okay you go and open up the second box okay it's completely empty of course it is you open up the third and fourth and both then. completely empty you still have motivation to go through all the rest. You open up the fifth and the sixth, both completely empty. You hesitate on the seventh one. Heart racing, getting a little excited, like they're all empty. <laughs> this one's got to be filled. It's empty. You lift it up, uh-huh. and you see the smallest reflection of your face in the metal as you see this. Deep, 
let down as it's empty too. Dang it! You have <laughs> all these chests now. Okay, so I come over here. Can I see this point of the room? Uh, can can I'm surprised. Why is your light not lighting that up? I don't know, but I can see to this point right here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you certainly can. Okay. I need to see how far away this is. Oh, this is happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. You know, put my uh, put my shield and sword back on. Okay. Yeah, we good. I want to cast Fireball right with the chest. Okay, so you're going to spend another yes. charge. How many charges do you have left? Five. Okay. After this or before this? After this. All right. All right. In the other room, at the time that Mal's dealing with this shit, you guys have walked into this room, those of you that, are, that moved into the room, and you see the arch, and you see what he's talking about, the open book in the keystone. Talk amongst yourselves uh, <laughs> on what you want to do. Look around. Do we want to get... Wait, where's Mal? Have you seen her? Good question. Do we hear I the explosion of the fireball? She went in the other room. Oh, okay. this is happening at the same time. This is all What's... happening at the same time, yeah, so... Gotcha. Let's deal with this and then go to the other room. Uh -huh. I'm just back. Uh, so, yeah. it looks like there's a book there. Yeah. Do we have extra spell books? Do we want to try those? Sure. Don't we have them? Uh, do I have them? Yeah, you have them. Okay. Just spell book. Spell book. Just spell book. Okay. <laughs> All the spell books come out. <laughs> right. Um, Probably. You concentrate, and a spell book does appear in your hand. Okay. Because you're thinking of only one spell book, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many do we have? Uh, oh. I think it was like seven. Yeah. Oh something God. like that. Just find the one so that's not. Yeah, find, find, yeah. Okay, so you dig got... them all out. Let Peter dig through them. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you pulled out one spell book, unless you're doing what somebody might have said, unless it was just no. Let's just pull out one. Okay. Okay. So tell me what you're doing with it. Uh, do we want to put the spell book up there, or do we want to open up the spell book just in front of it? Um. Open the spell book, make sure you don't need it, and then put it up to the... I'm sure you don't need it, but just in case. Alright, I open up the spell book. Okay. Ooh. What spells are in it? Uh, mostly spells you already know. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to open it up towards the portal. Does that do anything? How close are you getting to it? Oh, I'm going to probably get up close. On so it. you're at least five feet away from it? Yeah. Okay. There. So you open it up uh -huh. in front of the portal? Yep. Okay. The portal itself. As you hear a loud explosion coming up from behind you as the portal opens up, the book that you're holding turns to dust in your hands. That's why there's so many books in that. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. But the portal's open. Portal's open? Should I step through? Who hasn't? Have you stepped through I haven't, yet? I haven't stepped through one. I mean, if you want to, be yeah. careful, though. No, let's, let's attempt to... Uh, you know what? Give me another spell book, just in case. Okay. <laughs> spell book. Spell book. Don't have just any book, random book? Spell book. That's All right. what I was wondering. Another... Did you get another book? Yep. Okay. All right. I oh. attempt to go through. Perfect timing. Unfortunately, uh, forces beyond your capability is keeping you from going through it as you're not high enough level to go through it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, we can't go through it this time. So you right, kind well. of bop your beak against the, uh, <laughs> you the wall or whatnot. You built this dude. From it. He liked it. Oh no. <laughs> you're almost there. Right, well, almost there. But you're not quite. When I hear the explosion from the other room, since Bart's the closest, he's going to run as fast as his little dwarf legs will okay. go while screaming Mal. Yeah, that doesn't take you more than like. Um, I, think, I think about six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. You get through just in time to see smoke uh, and stuff um, just kind of bellow out towards towards her around that corner. Um, and as you get closer to her, yeah, I mean, what and you look around yeah. the corner, you just see these iron boxes just exploded and everything, and it's That's just sent, like like a big old black spot. On the on the floor where the fire fire what went off. What'd you kill? Nothing was alive. Yeah. They were empty. I got mad, so I shot a fireball. <laughs> she saw a cockroach. <laughs> it's still back there. What the hell? It's, not, it's, not a <laughs> it's bigger. Yeah. Why is it glowing? That's the question. Why did the ice Do glow? you want to go see what the problem was? Are you done borrowing my wall? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Not done borrowing that's why your wand. So it's legendary. You're still All borrowing right. it. The yes. only thing that's in this room is that arc, right? There right isn't back. anything right else, back. or do I need to make a perception investigation? That's up to you. I mean, as far as you can see, it, oh, there's only a. Um, I'll only make that. an investigation really quick, and then we'll be Four. done with this room, unless somebody else wants to do anything. Uh, fifteen. Uh oh. Snee. Bada bing, bada boo. Um fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Sorry, I'm I'm just checking here to make sure if there's anything there. Uh you're investigating, yeah. You don't really find anything. Oh. <clears throat> All right, oh, kids. Anybody else want to do anything while we're in here? I want to go to bed. Same, but uh, besides Didn't we just that, wake up like twenty five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wake up. Probably not that's even that. Bold of you to assume. <laughs> <laughs> then wake up. Sorry, yeah, I'm in a coma. Oh, Thrawn's in a coma this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> One bad dream. Yeah. What I've been, what my what Thorne's been dreaming about is what really happened. He just killed his party. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I guess we can go find Mal and go tell this guy we killed his devil. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. You guys ever feel bad? Telling things. Devils? No. 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 Never. Uh. Uh-uh. Not if they attack first. Okay. I don't oh, think they fuck did. devils in general. Devils? So, doesn't matter. <laughs> Even if it's a lawful good devil, devils are devil. Devils are dead. They should be dead. They all should be dead. Right. They should be just, just no. Yeah, devils are dead. They're playing. They don't belong here. Unless there was something you were trying to do, Bernice. I'm just trying to move oh, everybody no. back over to here to group them up so I can move you guys all together. We know where a portal room is, though. What? No, usually they convince someone else them. to bring them Man. to this plane. Yes. <laughs> they want to come to this plane. Okay, that is Bart. And you guys said you moved Bost up front. And you're putting yeah, for Thorn now. behind Bost? What? You have behind Bost. Alright, and then Bernice is behind too. you. Yeah. Yeah. Mal behind is behind Mal would be behind Bernice. I'm just trying to move your light out of the damn way. It's right here. And then there. And I'm missing um, somebody. I'm back here in the room. Oh, yeah. Bertram. Yeah, I didn't. I, yeah. Okay, so on my screen, you're literally on the number that tells me what room that is. That's why I could not see you. Oh, oh. that's funny. You got him? I mean, move I got him. I got okay. him. Then, since you said you're back in that room, I looked back. I'm like, oh, okay. That's, that's why I can't see you. Yeah. I got a 49 and then Bertram right there. On four. That's room 49? Yeah, that's room 49. Write that down. <laughs> room 49. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, I, I am trying to work on a list like of portals. Of California. The thing is, is I got to go through each floor yeah. and make sure if it's one you found on that floor. I'm also giving yeah. you guys descriptions. Yeah, we were going through. The, we were going to go through the notes and we never did. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm literally going through, like, if you opened it and you solved it, I'm giving you a description of how you opened it type of deal. Yeah. And if you went through it, 
I am trying to tell I'm trying to put on there what floor it takes you to as well. So that way you kind of can know. But right now it's it's I'm only on the third floor and it's a fairly big list because you guys did find almost everything from first to third. It wasn't until after the fourth, no fifth. No, you guys went to six. Sixth floor. You guys explored pretty much all everything up to the sixth floor. After that, that's when you guys uh, started just doing what you need to do and moved on. So I'm trying to make sure I get all oh, that. that. But it is it is it is taking me a while on it. So I will try to get you guys that as soon as possible. But as long as you keep it in your notes, it, it helps a little bit too. So you guys finished. You move on out of this room as you go as you leave the room with the arch. The door does close behind you. Uh, you check the oh, and and when it closes, you see the uh, the the glyphs on that side kind of just light real quick, uh, like just shine and then stop as if you just can reconnected the uh, seal or whatever that was that was on there. Uh, so you go through this one. I'm just going to drop you. Telling somebody we we're in there. Yeah, where'd we go? Or it could be what he. Told you prior that he had sealed them in, so it could be the glyphs that were on there. But um, I like your I like your way of thinking too. As you guys walk back through the hall, uh, through the short, uh, lengthy uh, hallway back to the statue, you still see the hall, the man Hollister standing right there, waiting for you. Peter. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> So you have succeeded and getting rid of the unwanted guest. You have a question. We came. <laughs> we saw. We kicked its ass. <laughs> Your question? What? Why does this bone devil want to kill Skarina? But it told me before it died. When did you get this information? Interesting. <laughs> when she whipped it. What's it good? <laughs> no, no, yeah. Most likely, it was a command given to its summoner, uh, since Yorick was the one who reached out to me saying that the bone devil was on loose. Ooh. I would assume that it was Yorick that summoned the devil and gave it instructions to kill Skitterina. I take it they're this, not getting the law? I take it these are students? These are students, correct. We found your. In fact, Skitterina is one that you guys had uh, come across and met. Yeah. She's, She's the one that had the uh, stuck golem up. and the Greek uh, glick or whatever fucking floating headball shit behind her. <laughs> headball. I'll just say that was. I'm using character. that as a term now. Headball. <laughs> headball. 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 I like that. Um, Look at So, but you were able to. Dispatch and remove it. Yeah, obviously the since you're back. Yep. Show him your icker. Hey, Bob. show show him the icker. It's icker. The, that black stuff that you put in your, book. You put in your book. Oh, my useless book now. There you go. Why is it useless? Why did you put it on that side and not the other side? Why don't I don't know. It? I didn't think it'd bleed in there. Huh. All I right. Your students is Technically, there. I'm still covered in it, so I don't know why I just. It's yeah. all dry. I mean, if yeah. I never heard anybody say they cleaned either one of you up, That's so true. yeah, I say you guys are probably covered in the kind of black. I was no, once white, now I am right? black. Not by choice. Drying. It looks sticky. No, no one, no one asks. But yeah, it's it's kind of kind of drying a little bit. Still looks a little wet. <laughs> it's fine. Um, all right. Okay. Very well, then. Um, other than it looks like a few of you are a little worse for wear. I'm fine. Yeah, there's something wrong. Looks like you guys did a good job and no casualties. No good for you. There is one. Your boy oh, Yurik is dead in that yeah. room. Uh, what a pity. Wait, Yurik's the one that maybe summoned it. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'll have somebody kids? go and dispose of the body. He wasn't a very good mage. Clearly not. He died from his summon. If you cannot handle your summoning, then you clearly are not strong enough. Speaking of strong... What? Keep that in mind. Okay. 
And as we speak about, <laughs> as we speak on strong wizards, again, you enroll. You too could be a strong wizard. You, have to be a wizard. you too can be a strong wizard. If you wizard. can, I will say this: if you can pass the initiation or the the enrollment of it, and you can pass, then yes, you can study. You know, I think there's better schools and better parts of town. Oh, <laughs> my. and those restrict your studies. We do not restrict your studies here. Yeah, but uh, this is not the best part hmm. of... The, this isn't the greatest this is of the areas. This is part by far. I heard Hogwarts <laughs> is really good. Well, yeah, let's... Unfortunately... Let's, the coast let's, not, let's, let's not... Um, Linger. Let's not, uh, let's so, not uh, drag our host through the... Yeah, let's uh, well, move on. If you're done, <laughs> I will lead you we have, yeah. to the next floor as promised. This is like Browns. I want to go to Harvard. I went to MIT. Fuck it. No. It's not even Ivy League. I will lead you to the next floor as promised. So he begins to lead you out this way. Um, we gotta go home. We gotta go home. We gotta go home. He's in front of us. You guys have let him stay in front of you the whole Perfect. entire time so far. Perfect. <laughs> Fireball from behind. <laughs> but that can't that hand can fireball from behind. Oh no, you can see where it goes. Who says I can't see where it's going? You're all shorter than me in that uh, behind in front us. of me. Yes. Don't shoot a fireball. No one's in behind me either. Get a fireball whichever way. You're shorter than me, so it's like this. <laughs> and there's no one behind me, so we're good. <laughs> Danger close. Broken arrow. <laughs> Everybody just cast the same spell over and over. Or we, re we really are set up like a tank right now. <laughs> the armor in front. We've got the cannon in back. <laughs> no cannons in the back. No Ooh, yeah. Sadly, though, uh, it's a French tank. It goes in reverse way faster than it goes forward. <laughs> <laughs> can't see, but I can see Bertram. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Okay, so, sorry, I have to just... That was great, Justin. <laughs> 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 I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta find that. Back, 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 back. I gotta find the path again. On which direction? It literally tells me a path that he takes. I just gotta oh, find that path one. again. There is only one path. The path of the righteous. Well, that's that's right. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to make sure I get get you guys any type of details here uh, on on this floor. Ooh, so I got it kept showing the. Age of disappointment. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, so he leads you down this hallway. Or, you no. Know. No, he doesn't, does he? Are you lost? I'm slightly lost because I literally have to go like from this top of the screen down to this top. So yeah, I'm a, I'm slightly <laughs> lost. Just, I, I keep having to scroll. It's 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 very Further evidence that this is not Hollister. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. Fuck. I think Hollister would have went to a better college than this. Damn. Definitely we're not with these cycle. But what if it is his college? He just basically said that he doesn't care about students. Yeah, this is like uh, the Key and Pill skit with the Wizarding School in the Bronx. <laughs> in the Bronx. Man, he just got to Thank you, but before you're going.
No, what a ball oh, oh. blast from the past. Sorry, I like I said, it's just it's it's weird. Okay. It, it you'll if you see it on my side, you'll understand. So, anyways, so you come come down this hall, and he continues on going down this this way as well. Um, as you guys travel, this hall is lined with six ten foot tall, ten foot wide, ten foot deep, dusty alcoves. Just in case you're wondering, as you're walking by, all right. Uh, he opens the door here. And you guys proceed through. There's nothing in the alcoves as we walk by. Just... It looks like dusty alcoves, yeah. unless you're wanting to take time well, to take will, away. You know. Yeah. He put it up. Um. Then Bert or Bertram, give me a perception check. Seventeen. Okay. You notice as you're walking through. Um, my passive is 18. My passive is 19. Shut up. You're welcome. Is it Star Actually, mine's it? 20. I don't get there soon. Okay, as you're walking by, <laughs> you don't really notice. You really don't notice anything yeah. uh, in any of these alcoves at all. Yeah. Storage closets with no doors. <laughs> something, something like that. <laughs> For their, all their awards they don't have. <laughs> Like the Vikings trophy hall. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Hey, ben, we're never going to be able to go to this floor again. <laughs> okay, as you guys are as you guys are coming coming down here, I mean, there's definitely you see to stay here. Right? You see Hollister disappear bet- uh, through the west wall as he walks through. And you hear a sound as he also um, kind of hollers back, right this way. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, Bart, buddy, Can I make, brother, yeah. go ahead and uh, go through the wall. Bertram, make a perception check for a secret door. Uh, you can make a... Perception uh, check, sure. Yeah, make a perception check. Uh, Ooh, 28. Oh. You can tell the wall that he went through is illusionary. Yeah. Oh, illusionary. Yeah. Just like the one we saw before. Yeah. Oh. It's an illusion. Well, let's go. The right. wall is made out of not wall. Okay. Yeah. So you go through. <laughs> as you go through, you can see that he has opened a door uh, that was right here that almost looks like it matches the the wall itself it as well just, like he just opened up a possibly a secret creates. passage right here oh. and he leads you over to here points down the stairs and goes head straight down this way and that will take you to the next floor thank you so much for taking care of that bone devil i definitely appreciate it and for quinn if you're ever wanted to study more magic without the restraints of laws and rules, please feel free to come back. I'll keep that in mind, in a vault, in my head. Sounds very secure. Hopefully no thief comes by and unlocks that and steals it. Is Bertram behind his boyfriend? <laughs> in his ear. <laughs> Nothing in there. <laughs> we keep going. Oh my god. What is this vault you're talking about, Kirkwood? <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I do have uh, a student that I need keep to on that secret door too. That I need to uh, attend to, so mm-hmm. if you would uh <laughs> hurry up and uh go. Yeah, we need to do our pre-stir stretches, right guys? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to, you know, pull a muscle yeah, on the way down. You know, I'm still back then. Yeah, we're ready. Back, um, maybe back to... Definitely ready. Ready. All right, ready. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, begin going down uh, the stairs. 
those of you that are kind of looking back are still kind of seeing him. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bertram's. Yeah. You're kind of still seeing him behind him. Uh, Bertram, after a while, yeah. though. It, what? Yeah, you, I mean, I'm watching behind. Yeah. So I open the. A after a while, the light doesn't really reach him yeah. anymore. So he kind of disappears. Um, you guys get probably a good. There, an hour has not really passed. Unless you choose to shut off the daylight spell, because I completely forgot the daylight spell. Oh was going no, on. I think this is good. Sure. We want the light on. Yes, yeah. have the light on. Okay. Sure. Daylight spell gets you another what? Forty forty. Thorn wants. Uh... I, I forget how far the daylight spell reaches out. This is. I have it. sixty I I had it up feet. Still, An additional sixty feet, or yeah. it, go, it goes to sixty sixty. It says. A 60-foot radius sphere of light spreads out from... Yep, 60-foot radius sphere. And then, yep. shed your dim light... Of My fucking feet. lantern is swallowed up in daylight. The only way I'm going to be able to see is actually with any kind of light. Okay, so yeah, 60-foot of bright light and then additional... So 120 feet. Oh, I got yeah. plenty of light. Okay. It's 120 feet. So yeah, you guys get a get a route about 120 feet or so uh, down the stairs, and um, and you don't see him no more. Uh, but you guys though, which is kind of weird, hear a uh, now that he's gone. Well. Well, what transitional being did you piss off this time? <laughs> Talk to anyone. Bertram. <laughs> Appearing behind you guys, coming out from and in, being invisible, you see that 12 year old boy that you saw in the other one and his half ogre companion standing behind him as well. He goes, Huh. <laughs> Before you guys go, I was going to see if you wouldn't mind helping me out with a little bit of uh, business. Uh, what do you need? What do you need? Well, first, sorry, my name is Spite. Um, what is yours? Bertram. Kirkwin. Oh, no, I'm, no, I would never introduce myself as Bertram. No, Bertram would... <laughs> of course not. What is your other name? <laughs> What's your uh, other name? Emerson. Am Emerson, Emerson Naylor. Uh, Bernice. Uh huh. And yours? Hey, he's literally waiting. He's looking at each one of you that haven't said anything. Iron Fist. Thor on Iron Fist. Wait, Bond? James Bond? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tell them your entire name? What if they're trying to track you down? Um, <laughs> they have an entire guild that could help them with that. Anyways. I don't think it'll be... Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, I am Fight. shiny. So, I was wanting to see if you wouldn't mind uh, helping me get a certain spell book that's locked up in the headmaster's office. The hilarious feels the one that disintegrated. Oh, Let's do it. Wow. Doesn't sound like a bit. No, it does not seem like a very good uh, plan. Let's do it. What's in it for us? Oh, uh, what would you what do you want? Hey, gem. Preferably so something like magical. Oh, yeah, we are looking for a gem. What are we looking for? Uh the spider's eye. eye. Not to mention we've got told that if we didn't do a favor, this guy wants our magical items. So maybe he has a horde of magic items. We did a favor. We killed that bone devil. Yeah. What I'm saying is maybe there's a horde of magic items but that we can steal. Did say people that just? Yeah, I I could not tell you if he has it locked left. up in there or not unless we go and do that. But mainly, what I just need you to do is he did say that he was distract. Help us find that item. A certain headmaster. Um, that's that's all I really need to do, and I can sneak in there, get it, and get right back out. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. I, I don't care. Uh, what's about so things. special about this spell book? It was. Um, and why wouldn't we just go get it ourselves? 
it, it, it's... And how well, do you expect us to do it? So, I, I, I'm a long line of mages, and it was actually one of my grandparents, great-grandparents' spellbook. I had asked to see if I could have it as a sentimental value, or even maybe study it and learn off of it. But the headmaster won't let me have it, and I really want to get the spell book back. I want to make an insight on his. I don't have very good insight. I have good insight. Yeah, I have good insight. You have a 19 nope. passive insight. Um, 27. No, 20. Yeah, 27. That's not even true, sadly. Uh, sure, since there was kind of multiples of you that were a little skeptic, uh, you're not getting any sense of untruth from him? Still a... Still What's a, 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 he, because he's a young, Hollister, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's very girl. young. Look, but Hollister is done with us. If he sees us back on this... I, I have the feeling that he's not going to do very good things to us. What if he says he changed the Well, I mean, what if we just ask him for a tour? It would help if you, you would be able to yeah. be like, hey, yeah, we changed your mind on one tour. Yeah, who's we? It would be a campus tour. Uh-huh, campus tour. Uh -huh, campus tour. I mean, <laughs> tell me all the things I could have. And, you know, we could stop by the cafeteria, because that's very important on campus tours, right? Uh, and and yeah. the, uh, the, the... How about the campus showers? That's the most important. Are they co-ed or not? Right now, well, I use precipitation on them while we're sitting here talking about this. <laughs> oh, just me or him too? J j just him. Do you want it? No. No. Okay. It gives you rapture flavor. No, no. They, this is this is now battle grease. I killed I killed the devil. Yeah. Did you kill the devil or did she kill it? Oh, well, she I got the last that. hit. Man. But they're sure twins. Yeah, they get to share everything. She did four percent of the damage <laughs> and killed and took five. Ninety-four percent of the credit. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. Ninety-five yeah. percent. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, this, this is exactly the conversation well, that we're having. America in front of first, him. but guess yep. who gets credit well, for I, it? The Spanish. Uh, yeah. yes. Spite. Is that your name? Spite. 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 S P I T E. The spite. Uh, this time. Spite. Yeah. Listen, Lemon Lime, can you give me what's what the next level down? <laughs> nice. The, 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 next, the, the next level? Uh, you want to know what it's called? Where do these stairs go? To the next floor. What's on that floor? The citrus engaged. I'm not 100% sure. I don't, never really been down there. So myself. let me ask you this. Can we come back after we take a gander at. This wait, is that done right now? I mean, you've been waiting for a while anyway. I suppose not. Um, I just thought this would probably give me a good opportunity as one headmaster seems to be distracted by a possible dead body of <laughs> poor Yurik. Um, Why did he summon that devil? I don't know. He has some beef against Skitterina, something about. Yes, Tell me about Skitterina. She's a stuck up little stub. Why do you want to be at this college? Like, why, why out of everything that you choose, what, what parent drops their twelve-year-old off at this college? I'm an orphan. Oh, oh. oh. good this job, is... Peter. Make the wound. <laughs> this it is... really is Hogwarts. This is this the is... last remnant of anybody of, of any of my family. Yeah. What? I just thought if I come down here. And study. I mean, Wait, Headmaster already likes me. How did you get to this floor? Oh, simple. And so point uh, like points over at, at the at the half ogre looking uh, female that's behind me. Goes, uh, she helped me. Oh, okay. See, and she hasn't said a word yet. She's just been standing there. Yeah, she does, has not spoken one bit. You hear a little. Rrr. That's about uh, it. What's her name? Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan has to look up the name, sorry, because I knew that was going to happen, but I completely right. forgot. A family huddle? Family huddle. Family huddle. Oh, yeah. uh, this <laughs> is, uh... Oh, I guess, um... Do... Part of that? 
Only dwarves. Go away. No. <laughs> Dumara? D U M A R A? Dumara. 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 This is Dumara. Say hello, hello Dumara. <sighs> you like your bodyguard? Yes, I, I. I freed her from some traps. Um. And she basically said that I am. She's indebted to me until, until, she's served her purpose. Okay. Bart wants to know about Hollister because what do you know about this Hollister? Doesn't seem right. Do you have a crush on Hollister now? Hollister is the headmaster of the school. Uh, pretty, pretty strong. He smells strong. Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, uh what's the word? Um, <laughs> we have cavalry is not as big. Uh, I guess in terms of magical arts, very, very powerful. What I mean? All right. Can you give us a minute? Yeah, I can definitely give you a minute. I... Proceeds roll in the ship. Now that is going to be how many turns? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay. So, do, do, now that we're all in the huddle. Do you want me to step back a little ways? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. As we're all speaking. Do we all go in like this? Yes. <laughs> he he kind of... Yeah, 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 so, steps, steps back, steps back a roll two more steps. Oh my god. Takes a few steps back up the stairs. Next thing, I want to put my centaur in your mouth. Probably going to be. Okay. All right. So are we speaking in Dorvish? Yes. Yeah. Oh crap. I, he doesn't know no, Dorvish. Oh, Dorvish. Sucks to Who suck. Is it? Is it Bertram? Common. Does Bertram? Does Bertram so. know? Yeah, I guess we'll do Y'all common. start speaking no. iconic. Oh. And I'll just be like, okay. that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God. I think only I think what, I'm the only one what that does, speaks your common. What does boss speak again? What do you speak? This on common. Okay. Okay, we'll have to. Okay, well, often I speak common. a lot. Yeah. All right. I speak Dwarvish. So, like wait, don't you have comprehend languages? Or don't you have uh, no. thought, projection, whatever the hell nope. you're talking about? I have message. If you went to this college, you would. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn. Wow. Why would we want to get rid of Perquin? He's actually in the nicest one here. <laughs> He's the nicest. For me, it's the first nicest. And He's... then Bart. Mm, you're third. Hey. You're. Mm. Third oh. oh. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, do we want to go back up to this thing? I'm not feeling it 100%. I'm not. Here. I'm, listen, I, I think, I think a 12 year old running I'm around not. with a powerful spell book is probably bad parenting on our end. Yes. Because he doesn't have parents. Parents. <laughs> and, you know, we're adults. Uh, you guys only have Mary, a question. Only if only Mary was but. here so we could take him into the orphanage that he has. Wow. They probably where I mean, he came from. He don't even you know, have... maybe we could convince this kid to leave this place? He can come with us. He can come yeah. with us. Oh, so I mean, we can die in battle like we almost did to how many times now? I mean, we go back up, he can spend time, you know, learning at Blackstaff yeah. Tower instead of learning at this yeah. place. Who are we going to send? Back to the surface? We need to find this gym or what? Well, we find the gym and then we go back we up. We gotta go get the gym. Yeah. Let's go, let's go get the gym. Let's hit so the help gym. the kid and then go to the surface. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Sound good? Sound good. All, All right. right. So we're going down. In about three minutes, yeah. I'm going to forget about this. All right. Are you that tired? Yes. <laughs> I helped the kid get him to leave, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Take him with us. Persuade yeah. him yeah. to come with us. Well, yeah, persuade yeah, we, him to come to the surface with us. We can persuade him to okay. come with us right now, though. Well, that's too. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not right you. Yeah. yeah. We've, got, we've got other business that we have to take care of first. Yes. We, we have well, orders of mission. Persuade. His is on the list. It's just not right now. Right. Persuasion is well seven. Yeah, yes. I like that. Okay. I like that, too. Okay. 
Ready? Yeah, we're getting, Dave. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Break. Okay. We are so, broke. We turn around to the kid. Is the kid still there? Still there. <laughs> All right, Spite. We've decided that we have an order of business that things that we need to take care of, priorities. Um, we have something to find for somebody. We need to go find that. You are more than welcome to join us, if you'd like, in our little trek to find this. Um, and we need, and then, when we're done with that, we'll come help you, or we can take you up to the surface with us. You haven't surfaced in years. You haven't been up to the Not surface in maybe three years. In a half a ten days. It feels like longer. I feel like we've been here for millennia. <laughs> you old man? Um, he glances over up at his half ogre female companion and goes, I don't understand what is up with these people in this stupid fucking gym. Just do whatever you want. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go back. He knows about the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he acts like he knew about it beforehand. I was a 15 on insight. about his knowing about the gym. (laughs) The question to him would be, oh, what are your thoughts about the gym? And what is it? What what do you think it's like? He's not lying about a gym. What, that's what the second part. I, I was actually going to say the second part instead. So what's the second part again? Instead of the first part. Um, what do you think this gym looks like? I don't know. Some people came through here. Um, I don't know. Like a day, two days or something like that that came through here. I asked them the same question to help. They didn't seem like they had any any interest to help me either. They... One of them whispered about, like, they had no time. They had to get this gym or something to somebody. Were these humans? No, they definitely were not human. Were they stinky dwarves? Like, like you three? No, we're not stinky dwarves. Well, that one is. He's kind of a little ripe over there. (laughs) I can smell that foulness over here. I... It smells like victory. Uh, <laughs> I concur. So were they dwarves? No, oh, okay. they they weren't any type of dwarf. No. Elves. Uh twenty years. One of them. One of them looked like yeah. One of them looked like a like a drow. The others kind of had like their faces were covered up. All I could really see was really their how did eyes. They get, did they? How did they get through? It's interesting. Cool. Um, Headmaster Hollister let him, apparently let him through. Um, from what I can assume that they paid whatever toll or whatnot. Magic item. But I did. I did ask. I did ask them the same thing, and unfortunately, they damn near shoved me to the ground and told me to get the fuck out of the way. Well, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. He, listen. No, I understand. You got to go after this gym. They want to do the gym. Everybody's after the gym. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to go back up, continue my studies, and I'll just find some opportunity to do I, it. Oh, listen, th- this gym's very important because this stops two factions. So yeah. we'll, we'll be back. We will help you, but... I don't think this is the right college to learn at. Personal? And I think we would make a much better family. He points over at Bart and goes, until I came here, I couldn't do this. And Bart's all cleaned up. Yeah. You lost your... I mean, that, that's just prestigitation. Yes, and I didn't know that until I came to this school. That's, that's simple magic. Right. Maybe for and the you. schools up above require me to have money gold for them to teach i don't have to spend a dime here that's fine we will it's free we will pay for you to go to a good school it's scholarship needs your charity i'm in a school that's fine right now i just want to get this book that's a family heirloom so i can study it 
We'll help you get that heirloom, but on the promise that you leave the school. And how long is it going to be before you come back? I don't know. A day. A day, two days. A ten day. A month, a year. Definitely you know not many, a month. You know how many times I, I've heard people say they're going to come back when I was an orphanage to get me, and they never did? Yeah, it's hard for me to trust people to say that. You know what? I want to use my divine bet. Okay, link divine sense up into the uh, chat for me, please, so that way I can see it. Uh, uh, you definitely aren't getting any fiend, bless you, or undead. Uh, actually, hold on. I gotta check the other person, too, to see what they... Nope, yeah, no. You don't get any any of those off. And not really any foul odors or any good presence either. Uh, any other type of yeah. good or bad odors coming off of him. Do we just want to do this right now? Get it over. No, yeah, just, just get it. It's, just it's fine. Get it over just, with. just go for your gym. It's fine. If you come back, bonus for me, I guess, and you can help me out then. Just, just do what you want to do. I will go back. We'll go back. I'll study some more while you're gone. If you come back, you come back, right? All right, don't do anything reckless. <laughs> I'm only 12. How much damage could I do? Oh, uh, it's a... Uh, you know, yeah. that's what makes me concerned. That's what you said when Mal was 12, too. Yeah. So... <laughs> you didn't know me when I was 12. Seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not 12? I'm not 12. I'm not 12. I barely know first level spells. How much damage could I really do? It's mm. fine. I'll go back, I'll study, I'm not to mention, I probably need to go back anyways before somebody starts looking for me, if anybody really cares up here anyways, it'll be fine. That's what I'm talking about. These people don't, don't care about their students. It's fine. Doom, do, Ryan have a hard time pronouncing her name. Yeah. Doomera Doom has always been here to cover my ass. All right. Okay. So it's, it's fine. We get back. Yeah. I, mean, I won't be here in the stairs, but yes, I'll be up here on the floor. Okay. Right. I will be back studying. It's fine. Go on. Take care of your gym. It's fine. All right. All right, Spike. Yeah. That went better than I thought. You know, you guys had an argument. Or just let's go. Uh, actually, when you hear let's go, it's not in common. Um, it's more of a deep... Let's go. Oh, and moves on. Mm, the companion is half ogre. Ogre. <laughs> I thought it was half orc. No. no half, ogre. Nope. Half, half ogre. Well, in spite of that whole subject, <laughs> let's go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Justin's not here, so I had to fill in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's completely fine. Uh, okay. Damn. Fucking just hitting us in the fields. <laughs> Sometimes I play that card very well. <laughs> uh, okay. As you guys walk down the stairs, these are stairs that continue on down. Uh, it takes you a few minutes to walk all the way down before you get to the landing uh, of this of the stairs and into a corridor. Um, as as you barely even get time to step off of the corridor, you start seeing uh, reflections on the floor of broken shards of what appears to be mirror. A 
a tall rectangular frames of sculpted stone lie in the walls which have jagged pieces of what appears to be possibly mirrors still kind of stuck in them as well. And as you kind of walk past some of these chunks and mirrors, you something catches your eye. Um, Bernice has when you get a glimpse looking down, you see a reflection. Well, it's not you. You see a reflection of Hollister in the mirror. Okay. In fact, um, you see it in almost all the reflections. You don't see a single one of your companion's reflections in the mirror. You see Hollister, even when one steps on the glass, shattering it. That's just tiny little Hollisters in the mirror. But that is where we're going to end it for today. <laughs> Uh, we're going to stop right there for now, guys. Uh, thank you so much. There you go. Thank you so much. Sorry about the technical difficulty that we had on the, on the uh, first part of the stream. Luckily, it happened during break and came back before break ended, which is great timing for us. Uh, so if you're catching the second half of this, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already following, please hit that follow button. I definitely appreciate that. Um, uh, again, uh, thank you guys for you playing and thank happen. you for watching. Um, Helm protects. <laughs> that is my last call. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you guys on our next D&D &D stream next time. So, peace. And love.